Hey guys, Ray here, and I wanna make a quick review and demo video of Doodly, the new software from Jimmy Kim that allows you to create doodle videos in both whiteboard and blackboard. Now I'm gonna go over four reasons that I think this is a really, really awesome product. Now the first one is what we mentioned right up front, the fact that you can do your videos as either whiteboards or blackboards. And what I mean by that is, as you can see here, this looks like a blackboard with chalk writing on it and you can actually go into your settings or when you start off a new project and you can switch back and forth between whiteboard and blackboard. And so now we have a whiteboard drawing and you can see all the lines have turned into black instead of looking like chalk. So that's the first feature that absolutely blows away all the other competition out there. I love the blackboard feature. I think that is one of the coolest things and I think there could be some really awesome videos made just because of that feature alone right there. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing is that uh, the program doesn't use SVG files. And what I mean by that is if you've ever used whiteboard videos before, if you've ever created them in some of the other programs out there, they use what are called SVG files. Now SVG files are a vector format that's not hugely popular yet, but it's great for using uh, whiteboard creation for making hands draw the images because of the outline vectors. But unfortunately, the graphics are tough to come by, they can be expensive, and Doodly solves that by actually using traditional PNG graphics. So all of these graphics that you see in here, now I've got the pro version, so you can see I've got a lot of graphics in here. These are all PNGs, not SVGs. And so when you put a person in here, so for instance, if we take Jeff and we put him in here stretching, because he just got out of the bed there, we can still resize him just like we would with an SVG, and it's still gonna draw Jeff just like any SVG would, but of course, because this is just a traditional PNG, you can use almost anything that you have, and that's how we've been able to put together such a huge bonus package, is the fact that we have so many SVGs that we can give out. Now, the cool thing about this is, the way this works is rather than using a vector format like SVG, it uses the PNGs and what's called a draw path. And a draw path is essentially just a, a recreation of the graphic, basically. So when you bring a PNG in here, you just you can create a draw path around the person so it'll draw it based upon what you say here. And that's what all of these professionally done graphics are. These are ones done by Jimmy and his team, and all the draw paths are in there. So if we go to watch this, we can actually preview the entire scene, and you'll see it's gonna draw just like it would with an SVG, except that these are not SVG graphics. And you can see that it draws the bed, and it's gonna draw all the pillows and all the bottles and the pills and the mirrors and the pictures and the windows and all that kind of fun stuff. And then it's gonna draw Jeff stretching. There he is. And you can see it starts off, it drew his head and his face and then it drew his body and all the details. And that's all done with a PNG graphic, which is pretty revolutionary, uh, especially because PNGs are so easy to get your hands on. What we wanna to do to be able to show you the draw path is I'm gonna start off by creating a new scene here. So we got our blank scene and all we have to do is choose an image that we want to use. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to go to props here and uh, I'm gonna bring in something new. So I'm gonna hit this here, we're gonna hit browse files and we're gonna find a nice PNG that we can use. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in this image of a woman here. I'm gonna give this a title, I'm just gonna call it woman. And I'm gonna continue. You'll see in just a second, it brings it in here. And of course, we can resize this to whatever we want. So we're gonna go something like this. And now if we preview the scene, um, typically in most programs, when you bring in a PNG, it's going to, it's not gonna draw it properly. It's gonna look all strange. Well, by default, these guys have, set it up where when you bring in a an image that they don't know yet and you preview the scene you'll see it kind of sketches it like that which is cool that works really really well compared to what most of the other ones do however if we want to really make this custom then what we can do is we can actually click on her and click on this little pencil and so now we're seeing the graphic of her here and we can actually tell it how we want it to draw this particular image. So for instance, we wanted it to start off by drawing her hair. 
Well, well, then what we do is we just come here and we make these little dots around her hair, like so. And you'll notice there's a little pink line that comes around that, and I'll show you what that is in just a second, but that's very important. But just do your best to kind of stay on the line, okay? And you can get as intricate with this as you want. Uh, obviously, we're spending a little more time than most people probably would want to for this, but you'll see why in just a moment. Okay, so we're gonna come back up to here and close that out. Okay, so now, You'll notice up here in the preview that, and we'll click on this, it kind of draws just her hair, okay? So that's our vector. Now you'll notice it's kind of missing some of the lines there. It's not quite perfect. Well, the reason for that is that pink line that we're seeing there, we can actually increase. So you just drag this over and it'll make that bigger and make sure that it gets more of it. And so now when we preview it, you'll see it starts off drawing her hair. I mean, that's pretty cool. So that's one vector. Well, now we can actually create a new path, okay? And this time we can have it start uh, drawing her legs. And the reason I'm choosing to draw her legs next is because what'll happen is it's going to jump from one to the other, which I know seems kind of odd, but you'll see why that's cool in just a second here. Okay, so now you'll see, draws her head and then it draws her sock. Okay, and then we could create a new path. Now again, I'm being very, very complex with this very simple drawing. I wouldn't recommend that you go this crazy over, uh, you know, just one picture of a, of a lady, but you get the idea that you can do some really cool stuff with this. If you really want to get into it, you can do some neat things. So now it's drawing her leg, her leg, okay. And then you can create another new path. And for this path, you could draw her skirt. And you start to see why this is really cool because it draws her legs, then her skirt. And it's much more realistic than any other program out there. And again, this is just being done with PNGs. This is not, you know, being done with... Um, you know, vector files or anything like that. These are just basic PNGs and we can have a lot of fun with this. And I don't want to have this video be an hour long, but I just want you to kind of get the idea. So now it draws her hair, it draws her leg, draws her skirt, draws her face, okay? And you can do this with the entire object and go through each and every piece of this and make it exactly how you want. And of course, if you decide you don't want to do that, it's too much work or, or what have you, you can just delete that out, go back, and now you can just use her in a traditional way like we showed at the very beginning where it's just going to pop her in there. So that's the second thing that I think is a very, very cool part of this program. Now, the third part is that you can actually use JPEGs. Now, this is a JPEG image of my logo. And in most softwares, when you bring in a JPEG, it gets really weird very fast. It'll start creating these weird lines out of different things and whatnot, and it doesn't look good. Well, in this case we can actually uh, preview this and you'll see that it draws it almost like a marker going across. So very, very nice. Does a much, much better job. But again, we can still do, even with a JPEG, we can still do our vector paths. So if we click on this JPEG here and we click on the button, you'll see here's our logo and here's how it draws it currently. Well, again, we can change the way that this draws it. So we could start off by having it draw across here, and down, and you'll see it's starting to change up in the preview window. Okay, we'll bring that back up here, and then we'll make this path nice and big here, bop. So make it really large. And so now you can see it starts off, kind of not seeing the edge there, but you get the idea. And we can make this even bigger if we need to to make it work a little bit better for us. You can see it's drawing around there. Okay, we don't see it too well there, but what then what we could do is we could come in and we could say, let's make another path. And this path we're gonna do around my head. Okay, so this is very, very cool for a JPEG to be able to use it inside of uh, a program that does 
these types of images is really, really cool. And it's very rare that these programs will use JPEGs and allow you to have some real fun with them. But you can see here when we get done with this, that we're gonna have a pretty cool little thing going on here. And again, this is a JPEG. This is not a vector file of any kind. Do that. So now you can see he draws around the edge, then he draws that. Boop. And you can do this with the entire image until you fill it in. So now you could literally create a third path and do this. And have it color in the image. I mean, this is so cool. have to be aware not to if you touch the other points it won't draw it properly so you have to just be careful where you, you hit with it I mean do you see why this is so stinking cool <laughs> and we can come up here we could fill this in I mean this is just I mean unbelievable the things you can do with this and you can get creative and come across like this and you know, just fill in like somebody would if they actually had a marker that was filling this stuff in. Yeah, I mean, so it's it's just it's so cool. The way that we can do this. And again, I don't want this video to be three hours long, but I just want you to see why this is so really, really, really cool. Okay, and then like somebody with a marker, you might start going this direction now. And again, this is going to fill in all of this for you. It's going to do this automatically. And then we can take a look at what it's created. Just back and forth like somebody with a real marker would do. You can even... You know, you can see I've made a couple little mistakes there where there's spots where it's empty, and that's okay because we can go back, we can fill those in, just like somebody with a marker would. So it just makes a very, very realistic sort of image here. All right, so we're going to stop it there now. You can see he draws the outline and fills it in. I mean, how cool is that? You know, and, and you can make it much better. You know, you can really take the time to do that. So now we could go back and we could fill in all the colored areas here and just have some real fun with it. So that's the third portion that really makes a big difference in this program to make it very, very cool. The final thing I want to show you that I absolutely love about this program is actually something we've been staring at this entire time. And that is over here on the left, all of these scenes, characters, and props. Now what's cool about this is You've got different scenes. So for instance, we've already seen the bedroom scene here, but you've also got, uh, let's see, we've also got, actually that's gonna draw it on top. No, okay, there we go. You've also got this scene here and this scene and this scene, you got a beach scene. So it's just a whole bunch of these different beach scenes and, and office scenes and hospital scenes, etc., that are in here that you can use for the background of your video. And of course, when you put these in here, if we preview it, it's gonna draw the whole scene out. And it does so really nicely. Now, the other thing is we've got characters. And you can see I've got the pro version here. So there's a ton of characters that I have. But even without the pro version, you still got a whole bunch of characters that uh, you can use in here. But what makes this unique is it's not just a collection of random stuff. And what I mean by that is as we go through all of these different things in here, and you can see there's just an a bazillion of these different characters. We haven't even gotten into the items and things. But as you can see here, if you take a look, uh, this is Roger. Okay, so you'll see that we've got Roger standing. We've got Roger sitting. We've got Roger tired. We've got Roger happy. We've got Roger frustrated. We've got him surprised. We've got him scared. We've got him running. We've got him with his arms up. We've got him with his arms crossed. And then we've got, you know, a different character, Roger stretching here. And what makes this great is the fact that you can really build a story with these. 
So for instance, you could say, you know, Roger has a problem. Uh, let's say it's a plumbing video. You could show Roger on the phone calling the plumber. You could show him at his desk searching for the plumber before he calls them. You could show him being uh, upset. You know, here he is, he's thinking, what am I gonna do because my the sink is leaking? You know, so you can really build some great scenes because it's not just random stuff in here. It's actual stuff that you can use to build a story for your video. And of course, you've got tons of props that go along with that so that you can really make a video that is unique and actually uh, works specifically with the, um, the, the message that you're trying to put forth. So all of these things come in here. Again, I've got the pro version, so I've got a lot more, but... There's just a ton of stuff in here, even if you have the basic version, so you can build some really, really good uh, videos that actually tell a story so that it makes perfect sense. So that's the fourth thing that I really love about this. So to recap, the fourth thing that I love about this is the fact that you've got all of these characters, all of these props, and they're all built right in. And of course, I didn't mention this, but also sounds and uh music that you can put to these as well. So all of that comes built in so you can build a real story. I also love the fact that you can use JPEGs and it doesn't look crazy when you do. The fact that it uses PNGs, which means you can get a lot of great graphics without spending a fortune on them. And of course, the fact that you can switch between blackboard and whiteboard and get some really cool imagery based off of that. I love the blackboard. So that's the uh, package inside of Doodly. This is why you're going to absolutely love it. And of course, we've got a ton of great bonuses. So be sure to check those out on the page. And if you have any questions, of course, please feel free to let me know and we'll talk to you soon.